Okay, I'm Cheryl Havenka and this is Jeff, my husband. Um, we are board members at Potter's Haven and we are Rotarians. And we do a lot of work around with around and within springs with the community, especially through uh, Rotary and do a lot of help with Potter's Haven assisting them in their fundraising and the caring of the children. We have an awesome family. If you're normal, then you must be adopted. Uh, we have, um, okay, there's us obviously, and we have five children and two beautiful two grandchildren, grand granddaughters. granddaughters. And then we have 18 children at Potter's Haven that we consider to be part of our family. Um, plus then there's the dogs and the cats. There's two and the... dogs and four cats. <laughs> uh, long. <laughs> I came to Springs when I was 10, which was very many years ago. And after a short gap of seven years when I moved away, I came back and I've been back for about 20 years now. Yeah, I was born and bred in Springs many wow. years ago. Left Springs for about 15 years and tried to, when I came back, tried to set up roots closer to work. However, Springs has this attraction that brings you back. So I've been back here for about 15, 16 years already. Okay, um, Potter's Haven is our passion. Um, it's an, a safe haven for children from abusive backgrounds and the kids there are absolutely amazing and they deserve the support and help um, from the community and um, you know they've been given a really raw deal from their birth parents and Marlene and Andrew they're now foster parents uh, they just change their lives and they are absolutely amazing so that is our passion and that is where our main focus is and then Rotary yeah, Rotary we got involved with to give back to the community because we feel there is a big need in Springs and all the Rotary clubs worldwide international serve their communities and we feel that Springs is a unique town and we need to give back and assist the community to keep Springs what it should be. It's people, definitely it's people. Definitely the it's heart people. of Springs. Um, Springs has this huge heart and uh, they are giving, they are caring. Um, in, in, in Springs and every time we've done something, either if it's for Potters or for with Rotary, the community has always been there to support and climbed in to give a, a lending hand. The youth. Um, Definitely the youth. Yeah, I think, you know, we with Rotary we run a um, youth leadership program twice a year and we get to meet some incredible teenagers. Um, this last one that we did in the beginning of March we had 60 kids there for the weekend and these kids just blow your mind you know they they grow up so differently to where we what we grew up with. Um, some of them have nothing but they have the most amazing sense of um, making a difference in the world. Um, they have these awesome ideas and they just need a little bit of guidance and direction and if I look at the youth now, I just see bright things in our future, really I do. And there is a big hope for the future. The, the biggest thing is by working with the youth, we usually, in, when we get feedback, whether it's in six months or a year, two years time, 
you can actually see the achievements that they've achieved and a lot of times they respond by saying thank you for what has been given to them through, through Rotary. Who inspires me is a really long list. Um, there are the obvious people like Mother Teresa, Gandhi, um, Madiba. Then there are people like the kids of Potters that um, they make the most out of a bad situation and they achieve and you know, um, they have every reason to be angry at the world, but they're so full of love. Um, there are people like Michelle Immelman at Vitanova. She's like such an inspiration to me. Um, fellow Rotarians, um, people um, like Mandy and Tanya from Catitude that are out feeding feral cats and trapping feral cats for no personal reward other than that they're making a difference.